Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the angle between a line and a plane in a pyramid. So we've got this rectangular base pyramid here with a height of 15. Let me draw in that height actually. So that's the perpendicular height from centre of the bottom to here. So that's 15 centimetres. And find the angle between the line ST and the plane PQRS. Now remember plane is just a flat surface. So we want to find the angle between the line ST, which is this, that's ST, and the plane PQRS, which is the bottom. So this is the bottom PQRS, this flat surface here. Now, to find the angle between a line and a plane, I use something called the drop method. So let's just say I want to find the angle between this pen, my line, and this plane, which is the paper. What you can do is you can drop this line onto the paper. And then the angle you want is the angle between the original line and the dropped line. So if we just drop each of the two points of the pen, well, the bottom of the pen just is already on the paper, so it doesn't need to drop. And the top of the pen, if you drop it under gravity onto the paper, it will drop to here. And then that gives you a second line here, the dropped line, and it's the angle between the original line and the dropped line. Now, hopefully this will be clearer when I do it on the actual diagram. The original line is ST, and we're dropping that onto the plane, the bottom of the pyramid. So if you drop S, it's already on the plane, so it's not going to drop anywhere. But T, when we drop the other end of this line, T, that's going to drop vertically to this point here. And that gives us a new line. ST is the original line, and this is that line dropped under gravity. And then it's the angle between the original line and this dropped line. So that's the angle we're trying to find, the angle between this line and that bottom plane, the, the rectangle at the bottom. And this is actually going to be a right angle, because look, that's horizontal, that's vertical, there must be a right angle between them. So let's think about this triangle, this right angle triangle sort of floating in 3D. Well, we've already got one length of the triangle, it's this vertical height here. If we just had one other length, we could then use trigonometry, Sokotoa, to work out what that angle was. Now, how are we going to find this length? Well, what we need to do is to consider the base of the pyramid. So look, we've got 19 here and 13, and we're trying to find from one corner, that's S here, to the middle of that rectangle here. Now, can you see that if we knew what that full diagonal was, we could just halve it to find this length? So if I just put the 13 here, can you see that we could just use Pythagoras' theorem to find this longer length? Remember, we can use Pythagoras' theorem if we know two of the lengths of a right angle triangle, we want to find out the third. So we can use A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where C is the hypotenuse, so A is a 13, 13 squared plus B is a 90, doesn't really matter which way those two are around, and that's going to give us this diagonal squared, so the C squared. Now C, if I just do the square root of 13 squared plus 19 squared, just to be quick, that gives you the square root of 530, and that means this diagonal is going to be half of this total diagonal. So this length here, we call this X, X is going to be half of that, which is going to be 11.5109. So there we go. We've now got the bottom of this triangle, which is half the diagonal of the base. That's going to be 11.5109. Now, if we draw out this triangle separately, it might make it easier to see what we're trying to find. We're trying to find this angle here. We've got that vertical height, which is 15 that's a right angle, and we've got the length of the bottom, which was half the diagonal of the base, which is 11.5109. Now, how do we find this angle here? Well, let's give it just a label, call it Y or something. Now, this side is opposite that angle, so it's the opposite, O, and this side is adjacent to that angle, so it's A, and remember Sokotoa, Sokotoa, that allows us to work out whether we use sine, cos, or tan. Well, we're involving the O and the A, that's here, O and A, so we're going to use tan. So it's tan of the angle, so tan of Y, that's our angle, is equal to opposite, 15, over adjacent, 11.5109. And then I do inverse tan to get rid of that tan there, so I'm just going to do inverse tan of this thing here, I'm just going to put dot, 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 because I'm running out of space. So I do inverse tan of 15 over that length there, and that gives me an angle of 
0.5 degrees to one decimal place. And that is the final answer.